so yeah, this talk is about the parole secret operators uh, that are um, a side of um, parole culture that sits between folklore and um, programming idioms. No, no, <laughs> there was a black slide in the middle. It click, click. <laughs> so anyway, with this talk I hope to demonstrate that Perl is more cryptic than its critics say and more fun than its fan imagine. And here is the black slide, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you switch your slides around at the last minute. Um, so, kind of, there's a problem with this talk. I have 275 slides. <laughs> I have less than one hour. I'll see you at the bar. <laughs> um, and I want to show you 25 different operators. Um, and the biggest problem I had was actually deciding how to, you know, in which order to show them. Because I could have gone with the discovery date, and you see it goes back basically to the beginnings of, of Pro 5. Um, I could have gone by the discoverer's name. <laughs> I could have gone uh, with the uh, <laughs> usage. So you've got the conversion operators, the increments, the conditionals, the, the ones that act on the context, um, that have a syntactic use. But what are you doing? A movie? I'm not kidding. <laughs> I don't know when you click it. I can't hear it. Oh, sorry. Does this one click? Okay. <laughs> uh, usage, sage? Yes. Uh, the shape. So you've got the wavy ones, the funny ones, the noisy ones, the, all the ones with bang, basically, and, and the, the roundy ones. And of course, I could have also have gone with the, the theme. You could have a series of uh, uh, sci fi space. Uh, operators, you've got the worms, you've got the not safe for work series, the tools, and even got the combination. Uh, but I, I start with the official pro operators uh, because I said it was culture and folklore, and actually, pro also has nicknames for a number of its operators. And the first one of them is the diamond operator, Pareto. How do you pronounce this? I'm, I'm not a native speaker. Anyway. Um, it's been said that it's uh, one of Laruel's daughter that came up with the name. Did I, did I click? Why don't you just say click? <laughs> Move your hand more suggestively. Or snap. Oh, <laughs> not as suggestive. Oh, for that. You, you take your hand out of your pocket anyways. Sorry. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so the diamond, is a, the, the diamond is actually a red line, uh, and so it just reads a line, right? Okay, I'm, I'm highlighting them because sometimes it's hard to see them in, in the code. Uh, the nice thing, the, the diamond is also a, a container. You can put stuff in it, um, and then it reads from the file handle instead of the default file handle. Uh, the next one is the spaceship. Uh, which was named by uh, Randall Schwartz. So there are different kinds of spaceship. This is a spaceship. This is another kind of spaceship, but it also works. Um, so spaceship is a numeric comparison uh, operator, and the, the, the most common use is in sort. Then there's the fat coma. So you picture a fat person in a coma and see the legs and the big bottom. As a fat person, I'm offended. As a person in a coma. Actually, I've been told there's a typo there. Okay, so let's go try again. Um, so this is a coma and it's, it's there. <laughs> okay, so the fat coma forces the interpretation of its left side as a string. If it's a bear, a bear word, a bear word, a bear word, uh, it's Perl interprets it, interprets it 
as a string. Sorry. Right. So here's an example. You've got functions. Um, if you uh, set up your hash like this uh, as a list, you're, you're, you're going to get the wrong result. Uh, you don't want the functions to be uh, run. So the, the way to fix this is to replace the comma with the fat comma. Um, right? And you get the right result. If you have a right code like that on the stack. Mm -hmm. Uh, you should snap in, slap in, because you'll see. Do you need a reason? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, and the fourth one that people often forget, uh, actually most of the other ones, uh, the, that I don't think the spaceship or the diamond are mentioned by name in the pro documentation. Uh, yada yada is, and it's, it's not the, the reason why it's called like this. Although it, it could work, you know. <laughs> and Star Wars jokes are, are, are fun, right? Okay, so it's a placeholder for code, and it actually compiles. It, it should be um, it should replace a full uh, instruction, a full statement, uh, because otherwise you, you it would be confused with the, uh, the, the not the flip flop, the other, yeah, the flip flop with three dots. So anyway, if you run this, it will. It will die. And that's the actual pro uh, code that he passes uh, C. Right, so let's move on to the secret operators. And actually, calling them secret operators is a lie because they are not secret, or only because they are not in the documentation, and they are not operators either. Uh, they, are, they are more like, and we call them operators because. Uh, golfers and obfuscators and even normal people see them often and use them and so they give them a name and it's, it's part of their toolbox. I'll show a few of those that are actually um, used and usable in, in production. And, and the secret side is that you either have to discover them yourself or someone needs to tell you. you know, it's like passed on from programmer to programmer near the fireplace. Hi, how's it going? We're in the middle of the presentation here. <laughs> or in the shower, whatever. Okay, um, so I start with... Uh, pro so, yeah. Before I said there were like five different ways I could have um, categorized the operators, but there is no... None of those ways um, can make a partition of them. And there's always one that stands out. So, in this presentation, I'm... I'm going to start with the, the most well-known ones, and then following inspiration, moving from one to the next. So Wait, I thought you were supposed to be politically correct, man. Eskimo? Yeah. <laughs> the documentation very, states very, very clearly point. that it's not Eskimo, and it's not a greeting, uh, but, you know, the, the margin is too small for me to give the old demonstration. Um, so, yeah, it's still greeting. Anyway. so you take two Eskimos, <laughs> greeting, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and what this does is it's uh, an end block for one-liners. And it was discovered uh, by Abigail. Uh, the date was like 1997. And it works like this. So if you write this, uh, shit. Okay, never mind. Uh, it's, it's basically WC. It runs the whole, it reads the, the whole input. And at the end of the program, gives you the value of dollar dot. <coughs> right. So if you feed this to the pass, because I'm using uh, the capital E, it prints lots of things with the uh, caret H. <coughs> but the in interesting bit is there. <coughs> so this is where the um, the Eskimo greeting is inserted by Pro when um, processing the N and P uh, options. So, shopping trolley, it's, it's the next one. It's also very well known and, and used a lot. Uh, I think it was, it, it was discovered by uh, Larry Wall in 1994 uh, in a thread where they tried to um, interpolate a, 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 a function call inside a, a double-quoted string. So, shopping trolley, it looks like this. 
and basically it contains your loot, so the, the stuff you <laughs> I, I've been told that shopping trolley is, is actually an English word, so the, the Americans should say shopping cart. But there, there are also other names for this operator, like um, the baby carriage, which is what the Americans say, but the, the, the British say uh, pram. And because I'm neither of those, I, I picked up a name from a series of Japanese movies, uh, The Baby Cart. And here you see the cart, and inside <laughs> is Daigoro, which is the name of the kid. <coughs> so, you know, it gives a new meaning to, to pro hackers. It's more like pro samurais, not pro ninjas. Uh, anyway, so this is how it works. It does a list interpolation, and it's joined by dollar double quote, which is very useful if you want to uh, use something else than space. And this is actual production code from like five or six years ago in, in at Booking, which uh, the, the variable names uh, give away. And so this is a way to uh, build your um, in list. So basically what happens, because we uh, set dollar double quote to comma space, uh, all the, the keys will be uh, separated by the comma. And luckily there are numbers, so you don't need to put them. And it's lambda no breaks uh, lambda Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Probably, yes. <laughs> yeah, but okay, the, yes. the real yes. production code probably had something to check that before. Probably. Uh, probably. <laughs> Maybe. A source filter problem. I mean, yeah. it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably sorted keys, right? <laughs> I, I don't have that much space back if I want the, the back row to be able to read. Uh, another use also from uh, production code at Booking, at least back in the days, uh, you, you, you get a hash and you take out the stuff you care about and if, if there's anything left, then you die. Showing, showing the solid list of stuff. Nice. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, another one that's well known is uh, Venus. So Venus is like a symbol for um, women. It does numeric conversion, which we call numification in Pro, or maybe in other places. I don't know. Uh, and it works like this. It turns strings or whatever into uh, numbers. It does the numeric conversion to a number. So for when you turn a string into a number, everything that's not a number is dropped, like, like you see in the first example. Uh, this is another usage with a magical viable uh, dollar bang, which is a dual var. So when you want to get to the, the numeric side, you use zero plus Venus, and when you want to get the string, you just use the, the you just use it as it is. It's not actually a dual bar. Whatever. It's not. It's a tie with yeah. overloads. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, let's uh, actually go back. That's what I wanted to say. Um, don't, this is um, the name of the numerification in overload, zero plus, and mm -hmm. I think also plus zero, I'm not sure. Okay, next time. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're speaking my language because Go I ahead. identify with gun sounds. As, as a Texan. Yes. <laughs> bang, bang. Right. Okay, so what does this do? It does a Boolean conversion, which works like this. It turns whatever into its uh, true or false value in Perl. So false in Perl is the empty string. So now, so now the second one is a dual var, and that's the whole reason you use it. Because in numeric context, it um, it's going to be zero, and in string context, it's going to be the empty string. And that's why, that's why the, the bang bang operator is actually useful. What I said. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
This is not a well-known one. It, I don't think it's been very used either. Um, but it's also a, um, a conversion operator. So the space station looks like this. Um, it does high precedence notification. So I'm, I'm going to reuse the other example, and it works exactly the same. Um, and then you're going to say, okay, what's what's the gain over Venus? Because you know Venus is like two characters, and this is three. And and the reason is high precedence because um, plus has actually a lower precedence than other operators, whereas the unary minus, because this is a unary minus, that's a plus and another unary minus. And you need to separate them, otherwise Pearl thinks it's a uh, decrement. It has to be there. I mean, every time, every time you've got problems with Pearl syntax, you put a plus and it works. Is <laughs> <laughs> that true? Or a dollar sign. <laughs> <laughs> no, the plus really works. <laughs> and when it doesn't work, it works. Okay, so what are the case where Venus doesn't work? Uh, you want to turn this string that has a number in the beginning into a number and then uh, repeat the number three times. This doesn't work because x is a multiplication and it has a, a, a higher precedence than uh, plus. So you could try to fix it, but that doesn't work because because of print. And of course you could fix that with a, with a plus here. <laughs> New slide. Okay. So this is right. You put the right amount of parentheses, which is another way to fix Pro, just add more parentheses. Um, but the really nice way to do this is like this. <laughs> <laughs> it just works. And it's totally useless, but we don't care. It's very readable. Yeah. It is! <laughs> and come on. Yeah, that totally makes sense. <laughs> I will, I'm going to write code like that from now on. <laughs> That's why book doesn't work here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get the memo. <laughs> okay, so because I know I'm going to run over, I put the, the bonus slides in the middle. <laughs> Um, so this is a real bonus because it's not in the manual page. Um, I actually learned about this operator last week, less than <coughs> seven days ago. Uh, I'm ready to be wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. This is the key to the truth. Looks like this. And ordinary key. Um, <laughs> and the nice thing, it's actually a, a combo too. Venus and bang bang. So it's you, you cannot call it like going bang bang on Venus because that's <laughs> not safe for Yeah, you don't want to bang Venus. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So it does exactly the same, but false is now zero. And I'm done with the bonus. Uh, another well known op is the inchworm, which all the golfers love. Because oh sorry, sorry, so the inchworm looks like this. Uh, because it's like scalar, but it's three characters shorter. And I mean, three characters at a time. And in the same place, you don't have to move So, typical use. So, sort of. space character too? Because that function doesn't exist yet. Which is <laughs> Local time. Time. Fuck! It's, no, it's Spanish for like crazy hour. <laughs> I will hire you with my talk. Okay. I tested. What does it do with Unicode? I have no fucking idea. Fucks it right up. <laughs> like an inchworm does with Unicode. <laughs> so how 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 unambiguous is that compared to like smart match? It is not because, yeah, right. <laughs> that's, that's a unary pop, yeah. and that's another one. Yeah. And smart match is a, is a binary one. Yeah. So, so where do you need to insert a plus to make it? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you, you could, but it's, then it's, you know, it's longer. If you add a plus, it becomes local time. <laughs> <laughs> it fixes it. Local plus time. <laughs> Okay, inchworm and a stick, because we love the, the tilde. So that's inchworm and a stick. Mm -hmm. It's actually looking backwards, because you know, you run this way, in the west at least. Um, so 
This is a high precedence decrement that's um, abusing the uh, uh, two complement uh, math. So instead of writing this, you could write this. <laughs> because of the way oh, 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 tells you the number, that only works on integers. <laughs> yes. But if you have using integers, it, it, it works. And actually, I think the high precedence decrement only works on. If you use normal numbers, only works on the positive ones, or the other way around. I'm not sure. I just check the, the man page. Just, just yes, put it in production in the chat. Negative non numbers, it will do an increment. Uh, because, because the team that does things to UV and IV and change one into the other, and um, but if you stay on one side of zero, I don't know which side at the moment, but if you stay on the right side of zero, it, it works. Correct side of zero. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some of the other one we have to pause and work through. Okay, so that's, that was the inchworm, but of course it could look the other way. Um, so that's, this one is uh, forward facing, so obviously it's the high precedence increment, which does the other thing. <laughs> that is and works crazy. on the other side of the numbers. So. You have to know where you stand, and then you can use those. But it, in, in golf, again, it's useful because you get rid of the disease. Actually, if probe thinks it's that documented and, and there is a test instead suite. of a number, then this is... It all works with use integers. Use integer. Even then, if it's a string instead of an integer, then... Yeah, you get trouble if you mess around with numbers that are... I, I, I see a patch for me. <laughs> <laughs> And there's actually an example of, I think, um, I'm not sure if it's uh, Scalar or, or one of those, where uh, if you start doing, yeah, no, with a, the space station, um, if you apply the space station to a string that starts with a minus, it doesn't work so well. Because Perl treats differently uh, strings that start with a minus in a numerical context or something like that, I don't remember, but it's all documented. I think you, don't you mean negative with a fat comma? No. What's that? <laughs> well, minus foo, fat arrow, value, right? Oh, right. Parses no, no, correctly. No, 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 yeah, yeah. But that, that's, that's I, I, think, I think it does because of that. Right. Uh, or the other way around. It does what I said it does because of... Well, you end up with a key with the dash at the front, yeah, yeah, even yeah. though it's negative of a string. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Kite. <laughs> right, I don't like the name Kite. Right. Uh, it, it fits perfectly well. It was in the nice new work category. <laughs> Oh, there's more? There's more. <laughs> my, you're, you're, you, you've been wearing boxer shorts. <laughs> uh, again, this is a combo. It's the diamond and uh, each one. And it gives you a single line of input in this context. So, for example, you can have twins. Oh, uh, okay. Just the first two lines. Yeah, it's, uh, it doesn't really look like an egg. Um, of course, it's a container, but it doesn't have to be the same feather. Two fives at the same time. Bumping from two fives at the same time. Um, ah, so the, that's the moment you're all waiting for. Um, you're gonna have yeah, to let's see the picture. Can, can, can you're going to have to do this. <laughs> you have to do this. Yes. <laughs> I have to do this. I got you. I got you. I got you. Is someone actually. You go not, up front not with, and you go like this. someone not seen it yet. Oh, <laughs> I'm <laughs> Bullshit. I know it's you in the picture. I know it's bullshitting you. Oh, you, you haven't seen it because you are looking the other way? So if you haven't seen it, you have homework for tonight. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm not going to show it, and I, I think we should have rehearsed because I would have told you to say no. Ah. No, I don't care. 
No! Okay, so luckily, luckily, it has another name. The planet. You know? And there's an interesting bit of, of, of mythology as well, because you, you may or may not know that uh, Saturn is the father of Jupiter, but it is also the son of Uranus. <laughs> so, uh, this is a container, so you can stretch it. Yeah, horrors. Like, like more. Yeah. And this, I actually did this, did this recently because you don't have to do pop on the on the hat beat then. You can get the things you want. Oh, by the way, what does it do? Uh, it gives list context on its right side and it returns the number of elements on the right side to the left side. So that's a uh, typical use. You need the G here. Uh, so that it, it runs on all uh, the string and finds all the occurrences of, the, of, those, of those words. What does lock? What? It's lock. It's lock? Uh, it's from like, maybe the syntactic. Uh, so yeah, you can count and capture and keep some stuff for later. Um, yeah, of course you would capture yeah, yeah, you do capture this way. I mean, you don't have to use the, the capturing parentheses. Um, right? And then I'm done with good see. The fun was at the beginning. Uh, so this is another spaceship. Uh, so this is the X-Wing. Um, but it's, it's, so here's a flaming X-Wing. So that's the, the other. <laughs> I have actually used this once in production. <laughs> and I was so amazed that I, I decided it needed a name, and we found it on IRC, and because I'm writing the man page, I put it in there. Uh, you notice it's a container, and this thing inside is called a pilot. Um, let's show an example. So it, it does match and assign uh, from input, and so you use it with a regex, uh, which captures stuff, from which matches and captures stuff from uh, the current file handle, and you store that in your hash uh, keys, uh, values. It's a container, so it can work on any file handle. Um, yeah, so that, that was a um, kind of a broken um, <coughs> spaceship, so we, yeah, I killed my joke with that. Anyway, we're going to fix it with screwdrivers. Uh, so screwdrivers, uh, plenty of them, all shapes and forms. Um, the, the one I'm going to talk about is the flathead. It's like this. Uh, so this is a conditional auto decrement. So basically, it does this. Uh, it removes one from x if y is true. <laughs> 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 there is, I mean, there is more than one way to, to screw um, screws. Uh, so there's the Phillips, which looks like this, and does uh, the conditional auto increment, uh, which works exactly the same. But there are more than two types of, of screwdrivers. So we've got the uh, flathead, the Phillips, the pussy drip and the drops. So a quick, uh, quick example of those two. They do a conditional reset, uh, either on a string, if you use the, the fuzzy drift, and to zero if you use the uh, drops. <laughs> and the nice thing about uh, screwdrivers is you've got, like I said, all, all sizes. So you've got the ones with a long um, the long handles and the ones with the short handles. And the, the operator works exactly the same. So you've got the, the long handles and you've got the short handles that are reversed. Can you 
the pipe drop. Um, looks like it. Uh, that one was a shit. <laughs> That's really painful to name. And actually, I don't like that name either, so it's called the ornate double bladed sword. And it looks like this. Uh, it's, another, <laughs> it's another of Abigail's invention, and it's interesting for, um, from an historical point of view. Um, so, this is how it looks. Um, it does multi line comments. You need three lines to do much line comments, but it does not matter. <laughs> and this is actually quoted from a um, compound, uh, compound Pro article where Abigail used the word secret operator for, for, for the first time. Or at least I haven't found anything earlier. And so there it is. Another of uh, Abigail's uh, thing. Again, I, I, I don't like the name, so I, I call this the grappling hook. Uh, I mean, it, it's really obvious. <laughs> <laughs> How did I not see this before? This is a trigger! <laughs> okay. And it does the opposite of, of the fat comma. So it, it gives you the fat comma, which is very useful from a, um, a stylistic point of view. In, you see the pairs in your hash or list or whatever, uh, but sometimes you know you've got a function on the left and you want to run it. So yeah, this is bad this time, <coughs> and, and, and you can fix it with uh, the cracking tool. It looks more like a fish or a shark. Uh, it, uh, am I, it's, it's a dead shark. Just because the fin is <laughs> It's a grappling hook, damn it! <laughs> yeah, that too. Just out of curiosity, why would we use Qt out? You hear? Ask that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shark with a grappling hook on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Batman shark grappling hook. And uh, because we're, we're at booking and Pro is an enterprise level language, uh, I thought I would finish with the enterprise. <laughs> it looks like this. I've been, I've been separate and created a trap with a GIF. <laughs> the new name, okay. Uh, and I don't like that name either. I call it the snail, you know, because you know, it's tastier. <laughs> I mean, and it's also a container, you know, it's, uh, with all the tasty stuff inside. Uh, I'm French. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it does. It performs a boolean list scratch. So again, it's it's a conditional thingy. Uh, imagine you're you're setting up your list of stuff and you put things, but uh, depends depends on the condition what you put in your shopping list. So thank you. Uh, this is another way to do it. Uh, normal people may like to use a ternary. But a ternary with an empty list is kind of uh, feels you know a bit like you're using too much. Yeah, it feels weird, not like this one. Oh, yeah, this one. Uh, uh, okay, okay. So I totally use this in production. I do too. Yes. I have Ever since I discovered it, I use it all the time. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking useful. <laughs> and actually, I contacted the author of uh, Pro Tidy. So there is an option in recent Pro Tidies that recognizes the, the Venus. Uh, I think the, the snail too, and a few others. So, pro, if you like those, pro tidy, given the right option, might put things right. And I think I'm done. Yeah. So, a wise man said once that there is, at the same time, a cat and a, uh, sorry, uh, not enough documentation and too much documentation. So, because Pro 516 had only like 170 manual pages, totaling 130,000 lines of, uh, of docs, I thought, well, maybe I could have, you know, just, just another one. Uh, so I made the Pro Secret Man page. That's not in, in, the, in the core, actually. Yes. Uh, be, well, I think Ricardo didn't like the, the fact that Goatsy and Sperm are uh, uh, basically there. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, the rest of the world is already making fun of us. Uh, we, we 
don't need to discuss them more. <laughs> anyway, it's on CPAN. And it has a test suite that tests that the, the examples still work. Uh, and also a lot of um, explanations on how those um, operators work. Do we have some time left? Because I have bonus slides. So you've, you've seen the, the pro operators, you've seen the secret operators, and there is the secret constant. Uh, the space lit. Yeah, it's really a sci-fi uh, community, the people community. So uh, space lit. Free spaceship, and it's a space lit already. Right? Um, so uh, sorry. Yeah. So back. So this is a constant, and it's equal to zero. Why? Wow. <laughs> So this is the um, spaceship, but this is glob on equal and glob on equal. And whatever those return, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> this one was uh, found by uh, Damien Conway. Isn't this, isn't this a little bit like longer to write than a... I, I, I don't think it's been used in, in golf competition. So <laughs> just, just so badass. No, but if it's Damien, it's, it's got to be in a in a you know an acting box. Yeah, I don't know where it was. <laughs> oh, so, so, so basically, so basically, you would use this to make the others feel bad. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Probably again. in parts where it's. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, so uh, that one was found by uh, Raphael. And in case you don't know, the Amphis beta is a, a snake with two heads, which looks like this. And what does this do? Uh, again, it's a glob, and it gives you where you're going with it on Unix. On Unix. Or if the of the if um, the home environment variable is defined on Windows, it gives you that. It works on Windows starting with either 5.14 or 5.16. On modern Pro on Windows, it, it wins. On older ones, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, well, don't use it for 95. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this time I'm going to go. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions? <laughs> <laughs> so what's the process for getting new secret operators accepted? Uh, find them a name that looks like, that matches their looks, and try to find a good excuse for their usefulness. Make <laughs> <laughs> sure the name you know, can pass purity muster. <laughs> I was going to say that the way, the more not safe for what it is, the more popular it will become. Yeah, they're, they're at, like, le at least with the, book. The, 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 the guy who found the, the uh, screwdrivers was actually looking for um, all sorts of operators with the, um, uh, the bang. There is a uh, bang, tilde bang, which he called, I think, the Tesla or something like that. Okay. Uh, but the, yeah, the names weren't that great. And I mean, I think the screwdrivers are actually useful, maybe sometimes. Whereas <laughs> the others, uh, not so sure. Booleanify is useful. Yeah. Bang, bang. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, of the whole list, I think there are at least five uh, that are useful. There's Venus, Bang, Bang, um, uh, Baby Cart, Goat Sea, and the, and the Snail. Diamond? That diamond is a real problem. How many of these are music in production? I think at least, uh, I would say at least four. Yeah, yeah. I'm using the Gremlin all the time. Yeah, so that's, and, and actually Gremlin is also useful, so that's, that's six. So. There's, there's one that I use sometimes, which is uh, bang x not equal bang y. Which is kind of, uh, can, can be useful when you're looking for, for uh, Boolean name equivalents. <laughs> it's like a triple negative, like an I ain't got none, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the operator! It, 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 it actually works, right? It's, it's, about, so the most, it's, about, it's about the simplest way to tell whether or not two value, 
two values have the same Boolean evaluation. But what does it say? It's like bang dollar sign x not equal ah, bang dollar sign, dollar sign y. Yeah. Well, that's a sexist operator. What? <laughs> that's a sexist operator. Isn't that just x one? What? Isn't that just x one? No, XOR won't work in all cases. At least not, not Perl's XOR. Because Perl's XOR will do screwy things depending on whether or not you have strings or, or integers, So, right? so that, that's the nice thing about the, the oh. secret ops, yeah. is as soon as you yeah. start talking about yeah. that, you people start looking for more. <laughs> try, try, try doing X, X equals 1, Y equals 2 bar. <laughs>